Hey, Paris. Um, really nice job on your sketches. Um, they're definitely neat and clean and um, um, well drawn. Well, well drawn. Um, the garbage. The garbage guy is always the most difficult one because it's not that easy to make the objects look like they're in the dump. So um, it's always challenging, but that's a good thing. Um, so these are all really fun. So some suggestions um, and thoughts. Um, now, you can't use eyes. They have to be something else. Like they'd have to be, I don't know what, but they would, um, if you're going to use eyes, they have to be something garbage dump like. <clears throat> And most people struggle with, you know, getting a garbage can that's old or a picture of one, um, um, you know, because it just, you really want it to look like the dump. And same with the boots. Um, so, some you know, just something to think about. You could always use something else for the other foot, you know, like a, you know, like a old doll leg or something like that. So again, some issues here with the eyes. You don't necessarily have to have a face. And I'm going to show you some other examples. Um... So again, the idea here is to make these look old. So um, I really like the yarn. Um, let's see what else here. Again, some issues with the eyes. Um, and, uh, you know, like I say, everything has to be garbage dump. Um, I like your bent fork. I mean, you could probably go to the Goodwill and just get one of those really um, cheap ones and bend it yourself. See, something like this looks more interesting when you've got two... Um, two legs. Um, I like this garbage bag form though. That's really pretty cool. <clears throat> this one's really cool actually too. Again, you know, you don't have to have legs that are similar. You could do two different things. Some issues with the face again, so that's going to be something that has to be um, worked out. I like the fact that this is open, but you know, why not just show different <clears throat> you know, different objects too coming out of it. Um, that could also work as well. Um, so good good start with showing the sides of these boxes. I would also sh show the side of the, um, the garbage dumpster as well. I'm going to show you a couple um, images here um, just from past students. And again, here you can see the different, since you show different sides, it just has more depth. Um, same with this one, and, and note how the perspective is used. What's in the back is smaller, and then it just adds more depth. This, these are final, so this is kind of where we're going in terms of creating a background as well. Um, text is not very good. Um, again, you can see the use of perspective with the leg being smaller, and again, um, you know, a couple different sides. Same here, but the text isn't very good here um, at all. Um, really nice job here. Again, smaller in the background. You can see that it's got perspective. This side's bigger. You know, and, and you know, you can photograph your images like that, but you, there's also ways to fix that in, in Photoshop, which we'll talk about later. Um, again, um, you know, some use of perspective. This one looks pretty cool with all these different, um, you know, cables and, and you know, the ends of the cable, so this one came out pretty good. Um, and this is the food one. Um, this is the this is one of the one you're doing. As you can see, it's really kind of challenging. <clears throat> um, I, you know, I mean, he, he got a pretty good grade, but again, the leg of the doll does not look old, and neither does this pizza thing. Um, this looks kind of okay. I mean, the broken light bulb, again, this looks new. So there's some issues with it. So, um, again, um, that's going to be something you're going to have to work out because it's, you know, it's a challenge to to make things look old or to, well, I mean, the best thing to do would be to find things and photograph them because even if you went to, like, here we have something called Value Village, but, you know, something like the Goodwill, <clears throat> and you can buy things and then you could rough them up yourself, Um that's always, you know, a good kind of way to approach it. Um, you know, you can find some images online, but they have to be a large enough size or else or else they'll be too small for the um for the, you know, canvas. And again, another this one came out really good. Look at the variety. Definitely more than 5 objects, but but that's fine. This one came out really good. Um, so anyway, I hope this helps, but um <clears throat> overall your sketches are really good. Um um, I, what I would do is I would 
um, you know, add a title and save these for your portfolio because you're always going to need some kind of sketches for your portfolio because they like to see, employers like to see, um, you know, taking something from concept to completion. And so this is a really, these are really nicely done. So um, I would definitely save, save them for your portfolio. You're going to have a portfolio class as well. Okay, so anyway, let me know if you have any questions. I think um, you're, you're off, um, off to a really great start.